I saw on Twitter a couple of weeks ago that Kendrick Lamar, who's playing here next week, stopped a white fan from rapping along with the N-word in one of his songs. And I thought, are you crazy, lady? Of course you can't say that word. Not in a song, not as a joke, just no. Surely everyone knows that by now. But then I saw this. Uh, you know what's a masterpiece? Is the, the Chronicles of Narnia. That's a masterpiece. And then this. It's the only nigga that does that. No, no. The thing is, I've heard Māori people use the N-word my whole life. Not just young people, but my parents' generation use it really regularly. It's used ironically and fondly and just as a placeholder for bro or person, similar to how it's used in the US. And of course, I know we don't have the same relationship to that word. It represents generations of trauma. Its reclamation is more meaningful to African Americans than it could ever be here in Aotearoa. But it still got used here. So I never say anything if my brown friends or whānau use it. But seeing it slip out like that when Tohenare used it made me feel like he'd exposed one of our secrets. We've been using this word for years when maybe we're not supposed to. Can Māori and Pacific people use the N-word? So I think the short answer is really that if you're using it, you must surely be aware that it has it's perhaps the most powerful word in our language because it's connected to this deep history of enslavement, of inequality, not just in the past, but in the present. And it's one of the few words that can just in an instant have a palpable effect on someone. You know, this is a world where people are still shot for the colour of their skin. Do we have words within New Zealand that carry the same amount of, of trauma? I mean, there's clearly words that are linked to historic injustices and inequalities and trauma and oppression. Um, words like hoary, like coconut and fob. And yeah, we should be careful how we use those words too because they are powerful words, but I think everyone knows they don't have the same level of power that the N-word is. We can still enjoy all the red African-American culture we want. Just respect the struggle and don't be a dick about it. See you at Kendrick. Leonie Hayden, The Spin-Off TV.